what's going on guys so one of the most common questions that I get asked is always related to a certain type of truck to pull or tow a certain type of trailer and they want to generally know if they're in a good position to do that well the challenge that a lot of people may not understand is really what are the differences between a modern-day half-ton truck a three-quarter ton truck a one-ton single rear wheel truck and a one-ton dually and shoot even a mid-size truck in terms of towing capacity as well as payload capacity because both of those are huge factors when it comes to safely towing a travel trailer or a fifth wheel All right, guys, so we just got here to Auto Nation Chevrolet in Corpus Christi, Texas. This is their North dealership. They got two of them here. And what I'm going to do is walk around to each class of truck that they have and give you an idea of what to expect in terms of tow capacity versus payload capacity, because it's very important, again, that you get both right. So let's get started with this. Okay, let's first focus on some of these mid-sized trucks. So these are generally going to be the lightest and smallest pickup trucks that you'll be able to find. These trucks will generally have anywhere between about a 1,200 pound all the way up to roughly a 2,000 pound cargo capacity depending on the configuration that you buy these trucks in. A two-wheel drive truck is going to generally have a higher payload capacity because the two-wheel drive system is a lighter system than having a four-wheel drive system. But these trucks are going to vary depending on how you get it equipped. Four-wheel drive, heavily loaded truck with all the features is going to have a lower payload capacity than a relatively stripped down truck. So again, if you were looking at getting one of these trucks in its most common form, which would be something like this, where it's a crew cab four-wheel drive package vehicle that's going to have more options than one of these lower trim models, you're going to expect to see about a 1,300 pound payload capacity. If you get one stripped down slightly in two-wheel drive, you can see all the way up to about 1,800 pounds, depending again on cab configuration, drive, as well as features that you have in it. But a good area would be between 1,200 all the way up to about 2,000 pounds cargo capacity. Making some of these trucks actually exceed half-ton trucks in terms of cargo capacity. However, the maximum towing capacity is only going to be about 7,000 pounds as rated by the manufacturer. In most cases, I don't recommend towing a travel trailer or an RV weighing over 3,500 pounds with a truck like this, mainly because of the high-profile nature of an RV and how they react to wind and sway. So these trucks are going to have relatively high cargo capacities even though the towing capacity is going to be relatively low. Let's move on to the half-ton trucks. Now when you're looking at half-ton trucks things can get very very interesting mainly because a high specked out high trim half-ton truck is generally going to have a very low cargo capacity. Something like a high country Chevrolet is usually going to have maybe a 1200 or even 1100 pound cargo capacity. If you get one of these trail boss trucks you're also going to see a relatively low cargo capacity mainly because of the components that they use to make the truck more off-road capable as well as some of the features inside. If you want to get the highest cargo capacity of a half ton truck you generally have to get it in a relatively basic package. Now a regular cab truck like this is going to have the highest payload capacity especially if it's in two-wheel drive. As you step up and you start adding features you add length to the truck like an extended cab that's where you're going to see your cargo capacity slightly dip because the gross vehicle weight rating of most of these trucks are going to be relatively the same. So the more stuff you add to the curb weight or the empty weight of the truck will actually take away from the cargo capacity. If you look at a two-wheel drive truck like this, you can generally expect to see about a 1,600 to 1,800 pound cargo capacity. Now in terms of towing capacity, these half-ton trucks are generally going to have towing capacities rated anywhere between about 8,000 pounds all the way up to about 12,000 pounds, depending on how you get the truck equipped. Again, Again, the more stuff you add to the truck, it can affect your towing capacity. And you always want to remember, just because a truck might be rated for 12,000 pounds 
towing does not mean that the cargo capacity that you have is going to be able to support a trailer that has a 1200 pound tongue weight. So keep that in mind. A high spec out truck is generally going to have a relatively low cargo capacity. And that is pretty much the same for even your heavier duty trucks. So with a half ton truck like most of these, I generally recommend keeping an RV at around 6,000 pounds. And the reason for that is because a lot of people may not realize that even though these two trucks may look identical, this truck may have an 8,000 pound rated maximum tow capacity, where this truck might have an 11,000 pound maximum tow capacity. And unless you specifically know the numbers on your truck and what they've done to allow that truck to tow more and what the cargo capacity is of your truck, you could be putting yourself at risk by overloading the truck unintentionally. So that's the main reason why I usually say try to stick to about 6,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. Of course, there's some play there and towing experience has a lot to do with it as well. If you've towed a lot of trailers, you understand how to load your trailer properly, you understand how to fight sway when it occurs, things like that, then you could be safe going beyond that 6,000 pounds. But for people getting into RVing for the first time looking at travel trailers, this is something to keep in mind. Also, the other thing you really need to pay attention to is that half-ton trucks have very soft rear suspension. These are designed for comfort. They're designed to be able to haul some cargo, but at the same time, they generally are relatively soft in the back, which means just because you can load a fifth wheel hitch in it and you can put a fifth wheel tongue over the back, the pin weight of a fifth wheel generally being anywhere from about 2,200 pounds all the way up to 6,000 pounds depending on what you're getting, it may not appear to make the back of the truck sag much, but when you start to hit bumps, when you start to hit expansion joints, when you hit potholes, things like that, you're really going to max out your suspension and you have a very, very high risk with the fifth wheel of bottoming out your suspension, losing control of the vehicle, and possibly damaging or bending your frame. That is one of the things people generally don't think about when they try to pair a half ton truck to a fifth wheel. They hitch it up, they sit back, and they say, well, look, it looks level. But then when they hit a bump, they don't realize how much stress that's putting in on a relatively soft suspension. So that's the main reason why I say you should never pair most fifth wheels to half ton pickup trucks. There are a few out there that are incredibly light. Even the pin weight is very light, and in most cases those will be okay, but there aren't a lot of manufacturers that make those. All right, let's move on to a three-quarter ton truck. All right, so when you're looking at three-quarter ton trucks, you're moving into a different class of truck completely. What that means is that this truck is generally going to have upwards of between 10,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating all the way up to about 12,500 pounds worth of gross vehicle weight rating. And what that really means is that you have far more cargo capacity and generally more towing capacity. This is really where you start getting in that sweet spot of a truck that has a good high payload capacity as well as a good number for towing. What you want want to be cautious of though is if you're looking at a three quarter ton truck versus a one ton single rear wheel truck the payload capacity is going to be significantly different between the two when you put a diesel engine like this Duramax Allison transmission equipped three quarter ton Chevy in front of us and you pair that diesel to it that diesel weighs significantly more than its gas counterpart so if you get this in a three quarter ton package you may find that the actual cargo capacity in this truck is really about as much as a half ton truck. It might be in that 1800 to 1900 pound range simply because the weight of the engine is a significant factor in the cargo capacity and that's across all manufacturers. It's not just General Motors. So one thing to keep in mind and one thing to always pay attention to is the door sticker on these. Typically your cargo capacity on a three quarter ton diesel equipped truck is going to be between about 1750 pounds all the way up to about 2800 pounds. When you get into a one ton single rear wheel truck, that's where it will jump up to between about 2,500 pounds all the way up to about 3,600 pounds with the diesel. When you get the gas equipped version, you're generally going to see the payload capacity in the 2,500 pound range up to about 3,400 pounds for a three quarter ton. And in a one ton single rear wheel, you'll see it anywhere between about 3,200 pounds all the way up to about 4,100 pounds. So the gas versus diesel argument really comes into play when you're looking at at payload capacity for these single rear wheel applications. 
The towing numbers have gotten really good on a lot of these trucks. Most of the time, I would say if you're going to be towing a travel trailer, you can go all the way up to about 14,000 pounds with a travel trailer, which is actually really hard to find. Most of them are going to be between about 9 and 11 or 12,000 pounds. This would be a great vehicle to tow your larger, heavier travel trailers. Whenever you get into anything greater than that, you're going to want to look at either a one-ton single rear wheel truck or even a one-ton dually, mainly for the increased cargo capacity as well as the stability. Now, believe it or not, if you want to get the maximum payload capacity in a three-quarter ton or a one-ton truck in a crew cab four-wheel drive format, this is the package you'd need to get it in. This is a work truck package. This package is going to give you the highest payload capacity simply because it's relatively stripped down. There's not a lot of bells and whistles, and because there aren't a lot of bells and whistles, it doesn't take off of the truck's payload numbers. So whenever you're looking at three-quarter ton or one ton single rear wheel trucks, keep that in mind. Oftentimes, the thing that kills your payload capacity is going to be the diesel engine as well as the fact that you have a fairly high spec truck. So when you look at these trucks, you always want to factor in what has been done to the truck from the factory to take away from the payload. Okay, so neither the North or the South Chevy dealership had any new dually trucks in stock. So instead, I'm going to show you guys a Ford because the Ford dealership's right down the street. So, whenever you're looking at moving to a dually, that's really where you're going to get the best mixture of both towing as well as payload capacity. Generally, a one-ton dually pickup truck from any of the manufacturers is going to have between about a 4,800 pound all the way up to about 6,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity. And that's usually going to be in a crew cab or an extended cab version. It goes even higher than that in a regular cab version. But if you're looking at getting into a dually truck, that's where you're talking about suspension that is significantly stiffer. Suspension that is designed to hold an excessive amount of weight, which means if you're going to be hauling a heavy toy hauler or a heavy fifth wheel or even a very heavy travel trailer, you don't have to worry about the trailer moving and causing too much movement in the back of the truck, thus causing instability. So when you talk about moving from a three-quarter ton truck or even a one-ton single rear wheel truck that are still going to have comparatively soft suspension compared to a dually, the dually is really going to shine in terms of giving you a great towing number as well as a great payload number. So with a truck like this, from any of the manufacturers, it's not going to be just Ford, you can look at a Ram or you can look at a GM truck, you're going to expect something like this to have about 55 to 5,700 pounds on average as your payload capacity, which means if you have a heavy toy hauler with 4,000 pounds worth of pin weight, you're still going to have a significant amount of cargo capacity to haul the people and your belongings inside of the truck without overloading the vehicle. So that's really nice. Also, the big perk is the towing numbers, the traction you have on the ground, the redundancy of having the two extra tires in the back. But when you look at towing with a dually, you do need to understand, of course, the increased width, the fact that you won't be able to run it through your traditional car wash, and the fact that you may not be able to maneuver it as well as you might have a smaller truck. The key behind all this at the end of the day is finding out what the best truck for the best application is in terms of towing. What I like about dualies overall, it kind of gives you the best of everything with the only compromise being the extended rear end as well as a slightly wider turning radius, except if you go with something like a 450 with that wide track front axle. What you can expect to tow with something like this would be your large travel trailers in excess of 10,000, 11,000 pounds that you just want the most possible sway control and the most possible stability when towing. What you would expect to tow with something like this would be your very large travel trailers, even your destination model travel trailers, anything that's going to be over 12,000 pounds. What you would also expect would be something like a fifth wheel between about 12,000 all the way up to 25,000 pounds. They do make some that are heavier, but there aren't very many of those. Or even a toy hauler in the 18 to 25, 26,000 pound range. Mainly again because 
of that increased cargo capacity and the ability to tow and stop your larger trailers. Plus the extra weight of these trucks make them inherently more stable and the redundancy of the extra tires. Anyways guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just really quickly wanted to point out the different types of trucks and my recommendation in terms of towing and the differences between these trucks. And I hope this video has helped you when deciding to get your next truck. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.